Hey guys, it's Steve here from Greenway Outdoor Maintenance. Just got done my first line, 8 o'clock in the morning. And it's cloudy and drizzly outside. Well, it ain't drizzling yet. It's cloudy. It was that drizzle all day. I'll see how far I get. Anyway, head on to my second lawn. It rained just a tad overnight, not a lot. I mean, it all dried out before I got up this morning. So. I shouldn't say overnight. It rained last night. Let's put it that way. Anyway, cloudy and drizzly. Not drizzly yet. Anyway, I already said that twice. But this is going on my Tuesday route. And I don't know if any of you, rest of you, have noticed, but the leaves have started to change. And leaves are starting to fall. Mainly the ash trees that I've seen. And some locust trees I've seen starting to change already. So I don't know if that's just our cooler weather. We've been in the weather in 80 last night. We're in the 70s. It's only like, what is it, 50 out, out right now. And I refuse to put long, or long sleeve shirts on just yet. And when I do that, then it screws up everything. That means it's fall already. Fall's here. In certain parts, I don't know how you guys are in the rest of the country, but it's fall here. And we'll see how far I get before I have to stop because it rains again. So I did this about a week ago or a week and a half ago. I beat the rain. And it was last week ago Friday? Anyway, or Thursday. I'm not grabbing about the rain. Hope it does this all winter long. I need the snow. I need the money for the snow shoveling. I don't want no blizzards. I don't want no 15 inches of freaking snow. And every year I do this, I want two inches twice a week for November, December, January, February. That's it. Then it stops snowing. <laughs> My customers don't lie like that because they got to pay me every time it snows. But, uh, and I've had, let's see, uh, I've had like six customers pass away on me this year between November last year and uh, just about a month ago, or July of this year, I lost six customers. Three of them I got to retain. The other three, I did not. So, they've, I hate it when the kids come in and I got a good, good way we got things set up for our parents. It's all nice and good. The kids come in, can you mow twice a week or can you do this? Can you do? Can we pay? Can we pay you each week? I said you can pay me each week. You pay once a month. Well, but we want to go to every other week. I say no because it's the only problem I got with every other week is I don't make no money. I don't do bi-weekly mowing. I have never ever done bi-weekly mowing. Uh, the other thing that gets my goat anymore is customers come out. Well, I just have the fertilizer company here. I said okay. Well, you can't mow today. I said, if I come back tomorrow, it's an extra 10 bucks. Well, why? I said, because you guys, if you let me know in advance, like one of my customers came out yesterday and told me she's going to have her lawn overseed uh, next couple weeks. So I said, that's fine. Let me know. Try to have them do it on any day but Monday or Friday. <laughs> so, but she came out and told me, so her bill will reflect I didn't mow that week. Or I'll mow, you know, try not to mow. She have done it on Tuesday, that's great. But they always want to do it. And the other thing that ticks me off is they have their trees trimmed. They know I'm on, let's say, Wednesday. And they have their trees guys there Wednesday morning when I get there. And there they get my freaking goat. I don't know what it is with these customers, but they don't stop and think about us poor line guys who have to stand there or rerun our... Oh, you can change your route. No, I can't. It's annoying changing my route. Anyway, that's just one of my pet peeves. It's cool and cloudy out today. So, but it just gets me when these people, uh, they, they have tree people there or they have a sewer company come in and dig up their sewer line or uh, they have concrete work done or they have fence people that put up a fence or I mean, any number of things. And it just, you know, they want you to rearrange your schedule for them which I don't do anymore. I say if I come back, it's an extra $10. So, and the other thing that gets me is these customers who put out lawn lights. The metal ones aren't bad. 
one customer put them all the way around the outside of her lawn. I said, I do not guarantee I will not hit them with a the mower. Or if I, you know, weed whack uh, some plastic, I will uh, break the plastic on them. Or if they're metal, I will ding the metal off my weed whacker. So I told them I'm not no longer responsible. And the one they got mad at me because I, was, I went tri I trimmed around them, but I did not. But I left chunks of grass around each one because I will not go in with my weed whacker and do that. And it's a pain in the butt. And so you know, I'm just being I'm just being a grouch today. I think. Anyway, I rambled on enough. I'm gonna go back to mowing my lawns and get these lawns done today before it starts to rain. It rains. It rains. I brought my jacket just in case there's my jacket. <laughs> I don't think I'll need it today. I'm still in my sleeveless shirts. Maybe next month. At the end of the month I'll put my regular shirts back on and get my long sleeve shirts out. Get my get my hoodies out again for the winter. Anyway, that's my gripe for the week. Gripe day. Anyway, talk to y'all later. And we'll have fun doing all the stuff another time. Till then, talk to you later. Bye-bye.